where the animal can get in and it's got this little slidey fence at the other end that keeps the trap um, contained within the box so that your pets like cats dogs and kids um, won't accidentally access the trap so first thing we'll do is place our trap so you want to put the entrance somewhere where you think a rat might access it so somewhere next to a shed like this we'll pop it there and we're expecting our rat to sort of come around the corner and sniff out the bait that we're going to put in the trap and go inside so now that we've got our box all set up we'll remove the back end we'll take our trap and the great little things with these traps is that you don't need to touch any animals or actually get your get your hands dirty at all they've got a neat little plug on the bottom where you put the bait so you can pull that out like that grab your peanut butter and you can use anything a spoon a knife a stick grab a nice knob of peanut butter fill up the little plug like that and, and then just pop it back in and turn it around to lock it in so then you'll see when you open up your trap that it's all nicely set no fingers no chance that you could get yourself snapped at all right so to set the trap you just push the ends of the trap back until you hear it click like that and then it's set so the rat comes in this way triggers this little paddle and snap right so what we want to do is because the entrance hole is at this end we want to make sure that the jaws of the trap are facing the entrance so we we pop pop it in the back of the box but not too far so we want the trap to sit right at the end of, at the back of the trap we pop our little gate back in and there we go our trap is set